Hi, it's Tal's Vids. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily synchronize two audio tracks that you've recorded from two separate devices. Now, by that I mean, you've got the audio getting recorded by the camera's built-in microphone, and I've also got the audio getting recorded by the little lavalier microphone, which I'm using and I use in most of uh, my recordings. I have this little lavalier microphone connected into a separate audio recorder. Now, you might ask, why do I want to synchron Why do I want to use two audio tracks? I've got a microphone built into my camera that's recording the audio. Well, to be honest, the microphones that are built into cameras are pretty poor. They tend to be rather tinny sound and for anybody who's wanting to significantly improve their audio quality, using an external microphone and a separate audio recorder is uh, a way that you can uh, massively improve your audio quality on your recordings. And at the same time, if you use this setup that I've got uh, for the microphone and the audio recorder, it was less than £100. So it's a modest outlay of cash for a massive improvement in your audio. Now, it used to be a bit of a chore in previous versions of video editing software to synchronize your audio tracks up, but in recent versions of Premiere Pro, uh, which I'm going to concentrate on here, it's quite an easy and fast process to do. You can also do it in Final Cut Pro too, but as I use Premiere Pro, I'm going to concentrate more on that, but I will point out that Final Cut Pro has got a similar feature in. Now, what we need to do at the start of our recording, basically you start your camera off recording, your audio recorder recording, and what we do to make it easier to synchronize our tracks when we're post-processing, we clap three times like that at the beginning of our recording. Now, that basically performs the job of your well-known clapperboard. But the main reason we do that is when we're post-processing our video and audio, we can three, see these uh, three claps that we make as large sound spikes in the audio waveform. Now, that does one of two things. When you're using the synchronization feature in Premiere Pro, it makes it easy for Premiere Pro to do a really good job at synchronizing the tracks. And also, if for whatever reason Premiere Pro doesn't synchronize your tracks uh, properly, you can then manually line the two audio tracks up. So basically, you would have your three claps you, that you have in your waveform lined up with each other. So that would be from the audio from the camera's built in microphone and the audio from your audio recorder. You would line them three spikes of sound up and then you would then have perfectly synchronized sound. But I've used the auto synchronize feature in Premiere Pro and I've never had it fail. Every time I use it, perfectly synchronizes the tracks. Uh, I've never had an issue with it. So the chances are the auto synchronization feature in Premiere Pro which I believe is called Merge Tracks. It'll synchronize your tracks perfectly every time. So with them three claps that we make at the beginning of our recording, that's gonna make Premiere Pro's job even easier to synchronize your tracks perfectly every time. So I think that covers everything for this part of the video. So what we'll do now is we'll head over to Premiere Pro and we'll get the two audio tracks synchronized. So here we go. Right, so we're now in Premiere Pro. Now, what we need to do first is we need to get our video from our camera and our audio from our audio recorder onto our computer. Once we've got them on there, we simply just drag them, drag and drop them over to this bottom left hand pane in Premiere Pro. So, we've got the two files here. As you can see, this one here, this one's our video and audio from our camera. So the audio in this will be from the microphone 
that's built into the camera and then next to it we've got the audio from our audio recorder now our goal now is to perfectly synchronize up the video with the audio from our audio recorder so you're going to basically have a much higher quality audio track than what you would have ordinarily had from your camera's built-in microphone now it sounds a complicated process but it's very easy and it's very quick to do so once we've got both the clips in this bottom left pane we need to choose them both now we can either use the command and a key on the mac keyboard or i think it's control and a on a windows keyboard and then that will choose both files and as you can see now both of these files are highlighted which means that they've been selected what we then need to do is we just put our mouse arrow over onto any one of them right click and then we have a menu option called merge clips now merged clips basically means it'll synchronize the audio with the audio from the camera's built-in microphone basically you're synchronizing both the audio clips but merge clips is what it's called on Premiere Pro so we just choose merge clips and what will happen then is within a few seconds we'll have a perfectly synchronized uh, video track an audio track from our audio recorders uh, audio so we'll go ahead and do that first what we need what pops up is we get a little window where we have an option to name the clip and I normally give it a descriptive name like merge clip or sync clip so I'll just call it merged clip now all the other options here such as synchronize point in points out points time code etc you don't need to choose any of them the only one you need to choose is audio and track channel one now towards the bottom we can see an option where we can remove audio from AV clip and if we tick that box what that will tell Premiere Pro to do once it's done the merged clips process it'll tell it to remove the audio from our camera's video clip so basically it's going to remove the audio that the camera recorded with its built-in microphone now normally I tick this box as it means it's just one less step further down the line that you don't have to manually remove the camera's audio track but I won't do that on this particular clip because I want to show you something in a little bit more detail and it won't do it if I tick this box so once we've named our clip and chosen the options that I've got on here we just click on OK and within a few seconds we get another file in this bottom left pane called merge clip now what that is it'll be our video from our camera and our audio from our audio recorder perfectly synchronized so everything's in sync once we've got that we just left click and we drag it down onto this little symbol here called new item it's just to the left hand side of the trash can as we can see it's there so you just release it there now what we now have we have the timeline on this right hand side if I just choose unlink from, so that I can choose each one of these parts separately this top one here this is our video only, only I should say from, our, from the camera and then these two dark blue ones here these are the left and right audio track from our camera's built-in stereo microphone and then the green one is our audio from our audio recorder now if I just expand these audio waveforms so that you can see them a little bit more in a little bit more detail and if I just zoom in a little bit as you can remember at the beginning of this video I says about clapping three times at the start of your recording and these three easily discernible spikes are the three claps so 
This has helped Premiere Pro to synchronize the audio from both the camera's built-in microphone and the audio recorder. So as you can see, it's done an excellent job. It's perfectly synchronized these tracks up on both of the camera and the audio recorder's audio. So ordinarily, if you tick that box for remove audio from AV clip, yeah, you wouldn't now have to remove the audio, which is this from your camera's uh, but your camera's built-in microphone has done so you can basically ignore having to delete this now so what I'll do is I'll just choose that blue that one there and then I'll just backspace on the keyboard and it'll remove it choose the next one backspace and it'll remove it and if I just drag that back up now if you've got more room so if I now drag that up to there and I just expand that so I can see them three sound spikes. What I need to do now is I need to just move the mouse arrow over onto the video section, which is this one, and you'll get a little sort of like a little bracket with an arrow that's put into the right. Now if I just click and move to the right till the, both the audio and the video are in sync. I can then choose both tracks. Choose link from the menu drag them both over to right over to the left hand edge of the timeline which is zero seconds and zero minutes now what you'll see now when i play this back we'll have the video only from the camera's built-in microphone uh, sorry the video only from the camera and we'll have the audio only from our audio recorder and it'll be a much higher quality audio so you can see when i've played back everything will be perfectly in sync there we go hi it's Vids. what I'm going to do in this video so there you go our audio track from your audio recorder perfectly synced up with your camera's uh, audio and video so I think that's all for this video uh, I hope you found it uh, useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be emailed when I upload any new videos. Well, thanks for watching. Goodbye.